All right. Happy Monday. We had such a good weekend over the holiday. We had such a great Friday. We went and visited my grandmother's. Well, basically she had land that was like a hundred acres. And so we went to this person who owns it now and he led us to it. So all weekend I was thinking I could post about that. I could post about that. So if any of you are sitting here thinking, I don't know what to talk about on social media, there's really nothing too small. It's all about somebody getting to know you and connecting with you and relating to what you're sharing. So don't ever overthink it. I have a list of things I can post about. You do too, I promise. But today we get to hear from my friend, Lisa. Here's something that I want you to know. If you don't have somebody in your life that inspires you, go find someone, okay? Because Lisa, all through the pandemic, I was obsessed with her. I still am obsessed with her, but she was my particular top three because she was on this crazy, amazing plexus exercise health journey through a pandemic. And I love watching her share all of her amazing food and snack, all the things. And she has grown in her influence through these things. So I asked her, would you come share a little bit about your experience with Plexus and the products and your weight loss? But also I wanted her to share how she even became a part of Plexus because it'll actually blow your mind. Lisa, these are the friends that, that we do power hour with every Monday and Wednesday. And basically we're changing the world one Monday, Wednesday at a time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute and let you take over. Introducing Diamond, Lisa Shira. Hello. Thank you, Jennifer. And thank you guys for having me. Um, so yeah, Lisa Shryock, I'll just tell a little bit. I've been with Plexus for eight and a half years. Um, and you guys, I, I can't Im imagine my life without it. Like, honestly, seriously, first of all, the product, second of all, the community, like my life would be so boring if I didn't have all my friends that I've, I've just over the eight and a half years, it's just a blessing to, you know, meet so many different people. And, um, so I can't imagine my life without it as a whole. So I'm going to get right to it. So, yeah. So, um, eight and a half years, actually, I had learned about Plexus two years prior before actually joining. I just, I was one of those people I had uh, I, to make extra income. I was selling things off of the garage sale Facebook page. And so I would have, I'll have to share a picture with Jennifer and she can share with you guys. But I had like these Walmart bags with people's names with envelopes. You know, they'd come to my door and pick up their stuff because that's how I made extra money. Um, and so one girl, one gal, you know, knocked on the door and uh, she actually had a bigger item. So I had to get up out of my chair because I was working. And so she, I was like, oh my gosh, you look great. She said, yeah, I want this pink drink. You want to try it? No, no, don't come at me. So that was two years prior. So anyway, okay. So back to how I joined. Um, so um, I could not use the bathroom. Like I two weeks at a time, I was just miserable. Like I couldn't number two boo-boo, like I call it boo-boo. I don't, I don't have a problem talking about poop because that's my story. So I uh, posted on Plexus Facebook. It's, it was it was Plexus Worldwide Facebook page at the time. I don't even think it's still there actually. Um, but I posted on there about probiotics, needing some help with some probiotics. I didn't have a clue what probiotics was. I was like, you know, whatever, well, let's just try. I tried everything you guys to go to the bathroom. So lo and behold, Tamara Holloway, my sponsor, now my, my sponsor, um, sent me, saw my, me asking a question. I didn't know her from Adam. She lived in Arkansas. I was at the time in, in Georgia. Um, and I asked a question about it. She messaged me back and she says, you know, I got some products that could help you out. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm all about it. I'll try it. So I ordered some Pro Bio 5 from this girl from Arkansas. Didn't have a clue who she was. Um, and then you guys, the fortune is in the follow-up, right? So about two weeks later, that was in November. Actually, I think that was in October. Two weeks later, she messaged me and she said, hey, you know, would you like to talk about, you know, uh, maybe sharing? And I was like, or I think she said, hey, can I call you? And I was like, yeah, sure. So she called me. She's like, you know, we have some packs that you can get, you know, more products, you know, and you can start taking these products and share about it. And I was like, okay, I was sold. I didn't even question it. I was like, okay, I'm sold. And at that time, you guys, we didn't have fast start. We didn't have big fat welcome packs. <laughs> I think we only had the $99. Maybe we had the big one or she just didn't know about it because she herself was new. So I joined 
didn't know who she was. I pushed her to silver. Tamara Holloway, can you imagine, guys? Y'all know who she is, right? I pushed her to silver. <laughs> I didn't know who she was. Two weeks after joining, I went silver. I had no clue what I was doing. Uh, let's see, my first paycheck was 600 bucks with Plexus. I just knew that it was like, wow, okay, this is great. I didn't end up meeting her until the following year. So that was November, 2013. I didn't meet her until convention in June of the next year. I was senior Ruby. I really didn't know what that meant. <laughs> because we were still so new. I see Sarah Marbles on the call. We had Sarah Marble trainings on, on YouTube and we had uh, the Sonya Dudley trainings. So you guys, we're blessed to have what we have right now in Plexus because of all the, the training that we have and all the resources and the Facebook pages and the points on welcome packs and the points on your partial customers. We didn't have any of that. So, if we, Jennifer and Louise, Sarah's can all make it to the top of the company without all that, what are y'all waiting for? <laughs> like, what are y'all waiting for? You have so much, you have so much like in your little basket that you guys can, can you know, catch the fever for and, and run for it. And then all the bonuses that we're getting this month. But anyways, I digress. I, I can go on and on and on about, on about it. But I'm going to tell you a little. So that's how I ended up joining. Um, reached uh, Emerald in 13 months without all these points, you guys. And then Sapphire. So total of diamond, hitting diamond was two years. So guys. I promise you, if we can do it without having, you know, uh, without having, um, I'm, let me X that off, I'm sorry. If we can do it without having all the resources and the extras that you guys have in place right now, if we can do it, y'all can do it, seriously, for real. Okay, so um, the pandemic, you guys, I, I had two choices. So I could have gone either way. So I could have ate like crazy because the world was ending as we know it. <laughs> right and I could have just followed the path of everybody eating like crazy or I could have just took you know the, the the path that I chose and just said okay I need to lose about 20 pounds I need to do this and so while everybody was sitting at home pigging out and eating I decided to walk take I, there was three things that I, of course I took my 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 gut health products um you know I take those every single day but what really really helped me lose 60 pounds and my husband lost over 60 pounds too um was and I started at the end of May of 2020 was my balance my meta burn and my hunger control slim and of course I would take my active but those three things were the things that I really 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 honed in on um taking those products and y'all I got up to five miles a day, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't walk five miles a day when I first started out. It's getting started, get started. And I played a game with myself. I had my AirPods on and it was my mental time to kind of like just go if I wanted to listen to a, um, you know, a, a, a personal development book, I do that. Or if I wanted to listen to a crime junkie, um, you know, uh, audible book, I would do that, right? Or I listen to a story. So it was my time to go. And I played a little game. I didn't start out five miles a day. Five days a week is what I, what I walked. I walked to the end of my street when I first started and y'all, I was out of breath. Seriously, out of breath. So then, and then I come home and I turn off my, my AirPods, wherever I was at in the story or the podcast or whatever, that's where I would stop. And I couldn't wait till the next day because it was I knew that I could finish whatever it is that I was, or start listening again to whatever it is that I was listening to. So then the next day I'd say to myself, okay, I'm going to take 10 steps further. And then I'd take 20 steps further. And then I'd visualize myself going to the end of the neighborhood. So then y'all, I eventually worked up to five miles a day. It didn't happen over time. It's the consistent, you know, little things that kind of add up and compound over time to where you can set your goals. And so now I'm at five miles a day, five days a week. I take two days off because we're typically gone on the weekends and I'm getting my steps in. Um, and so if you guys are just consistent with your products, whatever it is that you're taking and whatever goals that you're wanting to do, y'all, I'm telling you, I love food. 
Like I love food. If you follow me, my hashtag is what's Lisa eating. You can find some of my low carb food. I think Jennifer had even messaged me one time because I love to crunch and I love to sh share with y'all crunching and I love, it's bizarre y'all. <laughs> People know me by my crunch, you know? And so um, if you're just consistent with your products and you just put yourself out there, the hardest part is starting. There are days where I'm just like, I don't want to do it. Take a picture. I take a picture every time I go out walking, hold myself accountable selfie. It's not, you know, for my vein factor. It's for me to hold myself accountable and for you guys to say, oh, well, she is still doing it. I'm telling you, the community of people and the support of people, that's how people come to me. Like when I sign up people, they come to me. Now I am, you know, I do my daily IPAs and I'll be intentional and in adding the three people and, and, you know, whatever your IPA looks like, you reach out to people. The majority of times the people will come to me. Why? Because I'm consistent. I've been consistent for eight and a half years of doing the products, taking the products, you know, walking, the eating, losing the weight. Um, and then my husband also has a story. So that's my story, y'all. I mean, it's not anything glamorous. It's just, I, I started, I made a plan, I made a goal and I stuck with it and I did it. Well, I think it's glamorous. I mean, first of all, you got signed up with like one of the very tippy top earners because she <laughs> took the time to message you and follow up with you. And honestly, when you said she called you, I was like, is that what I have to do? I don't want to call people, but I mean, Tamara's really good at communicating directly and in a way that you just like, it's clear. There's so much clarity in what she says. You're like, okay, I'll do that. So yeah. that's a tip, getting on the phone. And then the second is, I know everyone's going to want to know this. How many balance? When do you take it? How many better burn? Better burn? We should rename yeah. it. Better burn. Um, <laughs> um, how many and when? Okay. So I'm going to piggyback. For, I'm going to go back first to your first um, comment that you said, I got to call people. Y'all, I call people. When I get them interested or they're, they're, they're wanting to know more about the products or whatever, never fail. I get them on the phone. And I, as a, I tell them as a, and I usually will get them to sign up that day. And as a courtesy, I just say, Hey, it's a courtesy. I'm going to sign you up. I'm at my computer it takes me literally, you know, I can do it in my sleep because we know they mess up. So yes, you have to get on the phone, Jennifer. <laughs> You have to get on the phone because things can be lost in translation when you voice message or when you, you know, when you type out stuff, it can just, and people like to hear your excitement. So yes. Do they okay, like so, children fight in the background? Do they enjoy it's that? That's real life, mama. That's real life. That's real life. Um, okay. Flushing. So do what? I said toilets flushing, all the sounds. I'm just like, really? Yeah. So, okay. So you guys, I'm the type of person I like to get things just out of the way. So my way might not be your way. It might not work for you, but I'm a big handful and get it down, except for my night stuff. So I take two balance, two meta burn, my hunger control slim. I usually I will mix my active with my hunger control slim and drink that as I'm walking. Um, and of course, you know, my gut health stuff at night, but I will tell you, I do take, I had to find my happy number with, with BioCleanse because of my bathroom issue. And so when I first started, y'all don't freak out. I was taking 12 a day. That's how bad it was. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was bad. And I was not running to the bathroom. It was like, you know, it was, yeah. But now my happy number is four in the morning and four at night. If I go on vacation, my colon tends to go on vacation. So I have to kind of like up it, you know, a little bit, five and five. But it, Jennifer, to answer your question, two Metaburn at one time. I take two balance, my hunger control slim with my active and I just do it. Now, of course, there's another component to it is I started doing low carb journey. So if you stay away from all the traditional pastas and the traditional breads and the fruits that got a lot of sugar in it, eat berries, eat your greens, you know, eat your high protein, uh, moderate fat and low carb is what I did. So I had three, those three components moving your body for sure. 
And you're not doing keto, which I love because not that keto is bad, but I like seeing when somebody's incorporating their greens, getting natural fibers, like you're actually eating in a really healthful way. But the best part is the fact that you said you've been consistent because I can't tell you, did you ever hear a call? And I can't remember who did it, but it was just the best visual. They said, would you ever get on a train after you had witnessed it? Start and stop start and then stop. Like, it was just like whiplash the whole way. You would not willingly get on that train. And it feels like many of us, especially with our weight loss journey or our business journey, we're on that whiplash train. And so when I watch Lisa at first, I'm watching, I'm like, let's see how long this lasts. Right. Like that's what most of us do. We watch. And then after a couple of months, I'm like, dang, she's going and she keeps losing. I mean, 60 pounds during a pandemic, that needs to be a book right there. Okay. Yeah. That's good. But you know what, Jennifer, something that you just said that was interesting is, is if you are, if you are seeing, if you are wondering if I'm going to still stick to it, then your audience is wondering if you're still going to stick to what you say when you put it out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you say, you know, people, when they usually join up, they're like, okay, here she goes again. Or, you know, here's Jennifer Ann. So so yeah, I've been consistent and I will, I will put this disclaimer out there is this past November, because I lost so much weight, I treated myself, thank you, Plexus, and I had a tummy tuck. And so that was the biggest blessing. Like I've been wanting to do it forever because you know, the flap is not going to go away. <laughs> Just saying. It's not going to go away, y'all. It can get smaller, but the flap is going to be there. <laughs> So yeah, so Plexus afforded me to be able to do all that. Um, and so just, y'all, I'm just telling you, just be consistent because your audience is looking at you. We have, we're human and we fail. Of course, we give ourselves grace. We just start again, but just be consistent on anything that you do. That's so yeah. good. And it's such an encouragement. And one last question, why balance and not block? Um, you know, I, I used to take block. But I, I, when Balance came out, I heard that Balance was just a better product and it's an everyday product that you take versus the block that you'd have to take right before your meals. That's just my choice. Got it. That's the reason why I take it is you don't have to necessarily take it before your meals. Now on the bottle, I know we all have to have recommendations for what capsule and, and just because, you know, there's regulations we have to follow to give recommendations, but y'all, you don't have to follow the bottle. You can find what works for you. If your probiotic, probiotic five works better for you in the morning, then take it. You know, if your Metaburn works better for you at night, take it. There always has to be some kind of regulations on the bottle of how you can take it, recommendations. But balance for me, it's just an everyday product. I don't have to forget taking my block. That's why I take it. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, customize it for yourself. And I've even had people that have told me the strangest things like on how they take products. But I'm like, as long as they're getting it in their body, then I'm down for however you want to do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, what a fun, awesome way to start our Monday. Lisa, you're the best. And you guys need to go look at her Facebook page and kind of look at some of the stuff that she's done with her testimony. And I want you guys to make a point sometime today to share that either in your stories or on your Facebook wall, because it's fabulous. It's relatable. It's, it's the everyday person deciding I'm going to take one extra step each day until I end up in the place that I want to be and look what she did. So thank you, Lisa. I appreciate thank you. Thank you guys. All, All right. right. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye. All right. So here's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to share my screen. And you probably already know about this. But when you go to your email each week, you're getting an email from Plexus Worldwide, whether it's going to your promotions folder or if it's in your, um, it, it may not be front and center on your main inbox. So you sometimes have to, I always search it by Plexus leaderboard. I don't know why it doesn't come to my main inbox, but anyhow, each week you're getting the Plexus worldwide. It says your weekly recognition digest. I'm breaking this down as if you've never seen it before for people that maybe have never seen it before, then you're going to open it. So this is from this last week. And here's what we're going to spend some time doing. This is showing you three categories of different weekly leaders. So I'm going to explain why this matters in a second. So you're going to see people that had the very top VIP customer signups for last week. Well, I used to watch Sister Wives like it was going out of style. So I am just freaking out every time I see Christine and Janelle Brown like killing it in Plexus. It's just awesome. So you're going to look through 
the people that have signed up the most VIP customers and they base this upon welcome pack purchases. All right, then you're gonna go down and they're gonna look at top brand ambassador upgrades. So who took that VIP customer and got them sharing, okay? So now you've got this whole list of people that did that. Finally, you have the top business building bonuses. Now this means somebody that on their first, is it three or four levels? It used to be four levels, but I'm thinking with the 209, ugh, I don't know if it's the first two or first four levels. It must be the first four. These are the people that have actually created duplication. They're actually seeing their level ones and twos and threes sharing, and they're getting the business building bonuses. And Plexus is saying, basically, you have the fastest growing team. So now you have this list of people here. Do you know what I just did for you? I just showed you three different types of people to go and study. So let's say you're really struggling with getting anyone to sign up with you. I want you to go and study. I know I'm probably giving you, making you dizzy. I want you to go and study the top VIP customer signups. Go and look at Christine Brown's Facebook page, her Instagram, her stories. Go and look up Crystal Vaughn or Joshua Slavin. Go and look up each of these people. Easy as can be. Molly Hopkins, go to her Facebook page. See if there's any posts that you like that she did and save them so that you can remake them for yourself. Go and look at every Madison Brush, Kimberly Brust. Go and look at all the people that are doing the thing that you're struggling in and study them like you're doing a research project. If you're struggling to get people to go and share, you're like, I could sign up VIP customers all day long, but I can't get them sharing. Well, let's go see what people are doing that are doing it really well that Plexus is recognizing. Elizabeth was in one of the Jewel trainings I was in and she's been with Plexus for like seven or eight years. So she's clearly figured something out. Let's go and look at her. So these are the people that you'd want to study. Megan Ashman, um, Leanne Beckwith is in Canada. I've seen her at a ton of different trainings. So you would go study these folks. Finally, if you're like, okay, I personally can get people in. I personally can get them sharing but I can't get anybody to do it past my level ones. Like they aren't getting people to sign up. They aren't getting people to share. So these are the people you're going to want to study. These are the ones that are able to create duplication. So we're going to do this. I want you guys to find this weekly um, leaderboard. I guess I could leave it up. And I want you to go and study. Studying means this, save posts that they've done that you like, save wordings that they've used that you like, don't copy and paste, don't share their post. Instead, rewrite it for yourself, like change it up a little bit. Cause if they're like, I have two dogs and a pony and you don't own two dogs and a pony, that doesn't make any sense, right? So you're gonna copy it and make it your own and recreate the pictures that they used. Megan Malakovic, when she joined Plexus, she decided for about two weeks, she was gonna study all the diamonds. She studied them, saved all their posts and remade them with her own pictures and her own wording that was similar to what she saw. And she took off. She's like, I'm going to do whatever the successful people are doing. It blew me away because it really did work. So that's what we're going to spend the next 20 or so minutes doing is studying all of these people. Jennifer, another thing that I regularly do as well is I'll go see like Kim McCleskey is a new one that's been popping up regularly. 
I go to YouTube and I'm like, I wonder if they're telling anybody how they're doing this. And I've found some really good training videos on like team calls or them being guests on other people's team calls where they share like Lisa just did with us. Um, just those little tidbits of what they're doing and what's working. Um, and then somebody somebody messaged, did you notice there's four brand new people on there? So if, the, if somebody doesn't have a picture on the leaderboard, it means they don't even know how to upload a picture in their back office and they're probably new. So the, the gray ones means they're silver and then the gold ones where it just says the plexus with the little diamond thing on it means that they're gold. So that's fun as well to watch the silver and golds who are hitting the leaderboard as new people. Um, you know, because a lot of people with some of the sister wives and stuff like that, it's great, but you know, they've got huge snaps because it's, you know, 16 years into the series of what they're doing. Um, and so going to some of those pages of silvers and golds and seeing what their first post looked like and stuff like that. And y'all, this week, the leaderboard did not come out Thursday at 8 p.m. And yes, 11 years in, Thursday at 8 p.m., Sarah Marvel is checking the leaderboard to see who the new people are, who's on it. And I'll even go message them. And some people don't have a sponsor that, um, that noticed that they were on the leaderboard. And I'll be like, girl, you hit the leaderboard. Congratulations. And they didn't even know to look or that it was a thing. So Jennifer, I think it's great that you're doing this because recognition is huge and it's free. Right. So if you notice a sideline or somebody that's on there, um, I still remember the glory days when I used to be on the leaderboard every week. And it, it was like, you know, you just got that reinforcement that there was lives being changed and it was fun. But today, this week, Friday, it came out. I was like, it's late. I even messaged Chris Pike. I was like, the leaderboard is late. Where is it? <laughs> He's like, I had no idea you cared so much. But I mean, honestly, what an amazing free tool, because I know when I see somebody taking off or doing something, I'm like, okay, tell me how you're doing it. Now, you can't spend your entire business looking and studying everyone because then you're not getting into action. Like you can't just be a student all the time. But if you are actually going to study and then do, and then you're going to take off. There's just no doubt in my mind. And I remember being, I was in Old Navy looking at clothes, I was probably like three or four months in and Suzanne called me and said, you're on the leaderboard. And I didn't know what that was, but when I saw it, I cried in the old Navy. It was the best feeling ever. If you can get your person on the leaderboard, it is the most affirming, amazing thing. And sometimes it takes a lot and sometimes it doesn't take a lot. It just depends on the time of year or the week that it is. And then don't even get me started on silver stars. That's a whole other thing that we don't utilize enough. Is the Silver Star trip back in person now? I think the, the group started going. So if you guys are in that Ruby, pushing for senior Ruby, that's usually the sweet spot for developing silvers where you have enough people where you could earn that. Um, and years ago, I actually used to do a silver boot camp for leaders that I handpicked at Senior Gold to actually set the goal. of The, the crazy thing is you never know which month, how many silvers is going to get you there. Um, but that trip is a once in a lifetime opportunity and something that should definitely be on your, you know, dream board or getting ready for the Silver Star trip.
Lisa, um, top brand ambassador upgrades would be me personally recruiting, you know, 10 new level ones and then those VIPs doing their first business building activity and then upgrading to brand ambassador. And then top business building um, is the purchase of welcome packs down four levels. So that would be more of a team. Like when they're on the top business building leaderboard, they're the ones whose teams are in full momentum and growing down four levels. I would went, did a deep dive. I'm like saving everybody's testimony from all of those top people. Um, guys, that is just such a huge thing to do. I would just recommend making that part of like your Friday IPA. Like the minute that you get it Thursday night, just Friday, you know, you're going to spend, I'd say an hour because you're going to be grabbing posts, engaging. If you see that they're doing an event, I would message and say, do you mind if I hop on? I'm just super inspired by what you're doing with Plexus. Um, the rest of this time, I know we only have 15 minutes, but one of the things that I want to make sure is one, that you guys make a post about Lisa Shyrock, whether it's in your stories, um, on your Facebook page, somewhere, I want you sharing that story because it is so relatable. I think saying someone lost 60 pounds during a pandemic is really huge. I think that's huge. The other thing is how many of you guys, go ahead and put a one in the chat if you have taken the advice of going and unfollowing and maybe you don't want to do everyone because there's probably people you still want, you still want, you still want to see. Unfollowing everyone that's in Plexus. Has anyone done that? Put a one if you've done that. Nobody has done it. Partially. Well, I'm just going to tell you, I have not seen the people in my newsfeed in years, like three or four years. Like in my mind, they had dropped off the face of the earth or they didn't have Facebook anymore. Nope. It was just that everything around me was Plexus. And I love that. But at the same time, I was missing out. So I spent all day when I was in the car driving an hour to my mother-in-law's an hour back, engaging on all of their posts that I haven't commented on in forever. So I want you guys to spend the next 15 minutes purposefully engaging. It sounds like my internet might be funny. Um, purposefully engaging. What does that look like? It's not just liking. Okay. Don't just like say something. If you're like, I'm, I don't know exactly what to say, go look at what other people commented. So it kind of gets you in the right path. Like, so you don't say something weird. I even have seen things that have been like hard news and I've been able to go in and connect with them in the comments. So engagement is huge because it sets you up for building that relationship and eventually being able to talk to them about something that you really believe is going to help them and make a big difference for them. Um, do I unfriend and then follow? No, I didn't unfriend anybody. I just unfollowed them. I wanted my newsfeed to stop being all plexus so I could start seeing well, one of them, I really don't enjoy seeing at all. I had to go back and unfollow that person. But most of the time, it's it opens up a brand new field of people that you really haven't been seeing. Jennifer, I was just looking in the comments. I figured it'd be easier to just jump on and answer. So if 
if you go up to your relationship and it'll say friends, if you click it's either three dots or how you know them, you'll be able to unfollow without unfriending them. Um, and then if you're saying you're afraid that you won't be able to see the Plexus post for ideas, I think that's where reviewing the leaderboard can help. You can intentionally use some time to go seek out, you know, what people are posting. But just remember, even if you only unfollow three or four people, it's going to change the algorithm. And I want you guys to remember, one, if you've never watched the, um, what's the newer one? Not the social network, but the other one that was the updated one about Facebook. I'll go find the documentary name of that. When I watched that, it completely changed everything that I thought about social media, good, bad, and otherwise. But you have to remember that there's a computer system, an algorithm rhythm that's running in the background and every time you interact with a plexus person you're going to get fed more plexus posts and you're going to it's going to narrow 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 down to you're only seeing the same 15 people and you feel like you're best friends with them but then you've got this whole other world of your network that you're not and the more you engage the more you get rewarded for that and the algorithm keeps serving it to you so even if you only unfollow two to three people a day or you know just make sure you're adding new friends to your friend list expanding your network. Regularly doing this is vital for you to be able to use, utilize social media to the fullest extent. And remember when we talked about editing, going back and auditing and looking what you are posting. Also, when you go to your feed, your own page, and then you look at the top for stories, the top 10 people that you see their stories are the top 10 people you're engaging with. And if it's always top 10 Plexus people, that's how you can know, okay, this is who Facebook is going to keep feeding to me. Um, and it just changes things up. The other thing that changes the algorithm is when you intentionally and proactively go to somebody else's page and interact with them. And so I always forget, and I've started making little lists of, oh yeah, that's a new level one. I need to go see if they made a first post, or I need to go check on the comments on their first post, making lists of people that you need to intentionally and proactively go be going to their page to engage just to keep that algorithm from working against you. I hope that helps. You're always so good with how you say things. Let me show you guys this so that you, okay. So you're just going to go to your friends, you go to your actual Facebook page, click on friends. And what I did was I just started at the top and I said, okay, who are the, if I recognized a person as being with Plexus, I was probably going to unfriend them. Now, like people like Sarah, one of my diamonds, Megan, um, Alita's husband, come down here. Another one of my diamonds is Adrian. I'm not going to unfriend them, but I unfriended like, I didn't mean to say unfriend. I meant to say unfollow probably a hundred people. And it's so easy. It's just the three dots, just like Sarah said, and click unfollow. And here's the good news about that. They have no idea. So you're not hurting anybody's feelings. And if you're saying, I'm worried that I'm not going to see good post ideas, I want you to change that to, I'm worried I'm never going to have someone new to talk to about Plexus. So instead of, I'm worried I'm not going to see good post ideas, you can find good post ideas. Just pick your top 10 people that you absolutely love and go and look at their pages and get ideas, but be more worried that you're not going to find people to follow and to share Plexus with.
Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. What I ended up doing, I've, I've scheduled for the rest of my day. I like to go into people that have had either their plexiversary or maybe if you want to make it a 90 day like celebration, you could do anything you want with the people that have been using the products with you. And I'm just sending them a little fun sampler pack because I'm going to tell you right now, the best thing that we've cut, <laughs> Sarah, the best thing that we have come out with in a really long time, I'm serious, is the lemon lime hydrate. And who knew? That is the most delicious thing I have ever tasted. I'm like, this tastes like actual lemonade because I love the other hydrate, but I also knew when I sent it to people, there was a possibility they were going to be like, ugh. Like I knew there were going to be people that didn't like it, but the lemon lime hydrate, like, come on, come on now. So I'm making little sampler packs, putting that together, writing a sweet little card. If you can give someone, I always think of it as a dopamine rush. I'm like, bringing on the dopamine because I want them to feel excited and good. So I know that it's an investment financially, but again, you spend money to make money and it works every time. So I will see you guys Wednesday. I, I just lied to you. I won't. Sarah will see you Wednesday. My oldest is graduating and he has his final senior government Tennessee capital field trip and I want to be there. So she's going to take over on Wednesday and you guys have a great time working your booties off and I'll see you guys soon.